took Lisa like five minutes to get into it a little and look at the specials. We're supposed to figure out what stuff costs prices. here. Everything's so odd here because now you have to look at the prices and divide it by seven to get to euros. You know, some stuff is obviously much more expensive. And other stuff is obviously a lot more reasonably priced. All right, so we've got the essentials. <laughs> hey, Lisa. It's the only thing we could afford. We're Andre and Lisa, full-time travelers and nomads since 2018. Last year, we bought a camper van in Europe. And after spending most of winter in Spain, we've set off on an epic 12-month, 20,000-kilometer adventure, planning to make our way from the south of Spain to the north of Scandinavia and back to southern Italy. Please subscribe to join our adventure. So this is actually an overnight spot for campers but the problem is that the main road is right over there and it also includes an area for trucks. Oops, I may have started without you. That's very naughty. <laughs> they're terrible. Yeah. So apparently they're not called Danishes in Danish. I mean, they're called Danishes in Den Denmark. It would be nice to stay here and you can stay here but there have been some reports of trucks idling 24 hours a day and uh, even some attempted break-ins so we try to get away from the major arteries yeah where you can play it safe turn right water tanks full toilets empty let's go find a place to stay Look at this beautiful spot! Ooh. Okay, go! 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 Really happy with our first spot here in Denmark and it's our first spot to rest because we are not camping. In Denmark you are allowed to overnight and rest in any official parking area. 200 meters in that direction should be the beach. Have a look at this. It says camping and it's a free area where you can just chill out. There's some benches, seats, a hammock, tables to picnic and even place to make fire. That is so cool. Sleeping shelters, picnic benches, fire pits. Now this is quite interesting. You can even find the ax. How crazy is that? So you can chop your own wood and full on barbecue pit. Yeah, someone really put a bit of effort in here. This camp spot comes with a girl in a hammock. Wait, I don't know how to get these out. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Is he the ocean? Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, it's the beach. Oh, it's the ocean. Oh. Apparently this is also a kitesurfing beach, if the wind blows. <laughs> In the right direction. It actually looks quite nice. It does. Oh, it looks quite nice. Um, but you need a southerly or south-westly, yeah, I guess. South-southwest. And if you keep going around this corner over here, on a side, oh. you should be able to reach Mon Clint, the White Cliffs of Mon. And that's nine kilometers one away. Mm-hmm. We may or may not attempt that. It's really impossible. 
I think the wind needs to be working with you, so you need a... Uh, well, you have to go there and come back, yeah. so which way does it work with you? I think safety-wise, you want the wind to come this, mm. blow this way, otherwise it's going to blow you to um, Sweden. <laughs> Cheaper <laughs> than a ferry off. crossing. Whoa, might be cold. <laughs> Pack snacks, if you know what I mean. <laughs> wow, Denmark. <laughs> Okay, well, first day in uh, Mon, Denmark, very cool, seriously pretty place. It's a little bit quiet here, I guess it's uh, very obviously out of season. But the sun's about to set, I think. Oh, it's 8.40. No, it's still a while for the sun to set. The sun's still so tight. Mm, beautiful. <laughs> We're probably going to hang around here for a day or two and then explore this area. So, depends on the weather. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. We are awake, beautiful night's sleep here. A few other vans joined us. The side. And I'm gonna try and get the bicycle down and we're gonna cycle up to Monslint, the very famous chalk cliffs of Denmark. Okay, ready to go. Monslint. Monslint. Okay, here's your helmet. Are you taking your hat? I'm gonna grab the bag and we're gonna go. Nice, I like your bag. He's trying to copycat me. Day. Copy, baby, copycat. <laughs> Good dog. Hey. Hey. Welcome to the farmlands of Denmark. Mons, Mons, Clinthaven, Clinthaven. A uh, six-kilometer cycle. You know, attempt this morning. Go check out these uh, chalky cliffs. Chalky cliffs, and it's beautiful, yeah, beautiful. Let's see what this stuff is all about. Oh, here we go. Oh, Daniel. Daniel, baby. Full of power, Captain. Scoven Mons Clint. Are you gonna hop off? <laughs> you gonna jog up? You did say you wanted to run this morning. Entered your own risk. 15 minutes there. Apparently there's a thousand thousand stairs, eh? Alright, let's go see this thing before the crabs arrive. Yes, dear viewer. <laughs> we have not I have not exercised in three weeks because of the health situation. Oh, I don't know if you look at me, you might be fooled into thinking, hey, <laughs> you look perfectly healthy. Although, the husky voice is the leftover situation. Of the Belgian, Luxembourgian, <clears throat> German flu. Yeah, whatever that was. I hope you'll get back into fighting fitness soon. Oof, and there's wind, there's wind tomorrow, I'll go kite. <laughs> well, that's a quick recovery. <laughs> <laughs> Feel better already. <laughs> nice. Okay, this is like stopping. Boom. I'm not walking a step further. Wow. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Very famous. These uh, steps are going straight into the water. 
Oh. <laughs> we did look at the tide, but this is not going to take it. Oh, maybe, maybe. So low tide today is like only an hour. And oh, very often you can get to the bottom. Oh, boy, boy, boy. This is just uh, slickiness. It can be a bit of a surprise if you come here and spit you out. Now there's another step of stairs further down. But this might be a problem. I'm going to go for it. Yeah. Tide is going down, but it's quite sloshy. Ooh, and it smells, eh? And only people here. Let's get away from the Yeah, I wonder why. Lisa says it smells like dead things, but it's just this uh, disgusting seaweed. And look at my hands. Five, just don't slip because it's quite sloshy. Let me give you a hand. Sloppy five. <laughs> a little bit of um, history. Ah. There's nobody here. So we wanted to take, why. We wanted to take this up and come all the way around here from uh, the, the lighthouse, but there's a wind blowing offshore. I know it doesn't look like it here. And I'll sup, sup is more a ship with a sail, so it's just going to take us to Sweden. I think we should have sup. Yeah, beautiful, yeah, huh? Hey? Yes. Nice. Okay, yeah, let me try and wash our hands. Let's go a bit further away yeah. from the gunky stuff. Hey, there's a camera up there, look. Hello. I think they've got a live webcam Hello, stream. <laughs> it's not a camera, it's one and six. But they do have a live stream webcam here somewhere. <laughs> nice. Well, we're going to try and make it to that point because we packed a snack. Because we haven't had breakfast yet. Yo, and I'm starving. Dude. No, sadly. You can't fly a drone here. Hmm. It's in a no-fly zone. Oh, guys, I found a dinosaur egg, look. It's a baby dinosaur, but it's nonetheless. That's got a big dinosaur egg. What, what do you think is gonna... What kind of dinosaur is he? Um, little dinosaur bird. <laughs> Always oh. wanted a pet. <laughs> On the camper. Yeah, let's find a spot to have a quick bite. Ooh, somebody made us a nice pre-breakfast. Pre-breakfast. Try not to get my uh, my my spatu white. Too chalky. Too chalky. Enjoy. Spoon? Oh, I like the spoon. Pink. Enjoy. Things have changed radically in the last uh, 20 minutes. The crowds are ascending on Monstland Beach. But I think it's time to for us to skedaddle. These clips are absolutely stunning. Definitely make sure you come down to view them from the beach and if you can and the weather allows I highly recommend supping here just to get a little bit further out and get a different perspective Or get a kayak or something mm. for sure Oh my goodness gracious Goodbye Monsland Very cool Definitely worthwhile but come early in the morning as early as you can and check the tides <laughs> Definitely wake up and bring a snack oh, and a and it's up, preferably. Later. I don't really know why we're going backwards. Why are we going backwards? I didn't you turn around. I have no idea. Oh. Should we just keep reversing? I don't know. Oh, it's a sticker. Oh, please it's don't. Hello, sticker. I have no idea. Should we check it out? Sticker. Sticker. Camera. Kiting. Nah, there's no beach. Yeah, it's like a different kind of kiting in this part of the world, but conditions are pretty good actually. Flat water, nice warm air, but there's no beach. There's just a fisherman pools in the ocean. So once you can figure out how to launch and rig, you can all this to yourself. Living Mali, yeah? And we'll come back and see if the wind picks up. If we find a beach. Now. Off it goes. Wind is not super consistent. How's that? 
bad. That was good. First cut in Denmark, it might be the last. Alright, well, our parking lot in uh, Stecha. Our resting spot. I mean, sorry, resting. No. Ooh, lots of mosquitoes here though. By bugs. Yeah, a lot of mosquitoes. Bugs. So how it works in Denmark is obviously you can't camp wherever you want and also you can't park wherever you want. However, technically you're allowed to rest overnight for the purpose of continuing your journey. Safely. Safely. Now that could include bringing food or sleeping, and, but the idea is not to stay. Not to camp, make yourself at home, anything like that. So, yes. Ooh. It's a technicality. Some places you'll be tolerated more than others, but technically you can stop in a parking bay as long as you fit into it and then overnight. Yes? All right, well, that's van life for you. Beautiful parking spot, but it's close to a community park and it's Saturday night and all the years of the town are out there with boom boxes bigger than, I don't know, those are enormous boom boxes. Yeah, we're not going to get much sleep, eh? And it only starts raining at 3 a.m. and that may or may not chase them away. <laughs> so we decided we're going to move on and see if we can find ourselves another spot that's a little bit more naturistic and peaceful for the night. I think it's light? almost try number three now. It's there's no more light. It's uh, daylight is fading. Ten to ten. And in Denmark, yeah, that's pretty late. Ten yes. to ten. Oh my ten god. Ten to ten. It's all sleepy time. I think we found ourselves a spot to sleep for night. I think so. There's mm. Some drizzling happening, and should be peaceful enough to get a good night's sleep away from the mm. boys and the boomboxes. <laughs> <laughs> 